We have uh, uh, the former Inspector General of Police, uh, Ibrahim Kumasi, on the line, all the way from Yobe. Uh, I recall he was Inspector General of Police uh, from 1993 to 1999. He sat uh, on the, the military governments of uh, Sani Abacha and uh, General Abdul Salami Abu Bakr. He'll be telling us about the security situation. Uh, good morning, uh, uh, and uh, tell us exactly what the situation is like in Yobe State, uh, being that uh, this is one state that has been in the news security-wise, uh, for some years. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm not in Yobe right away. I'm in my hometown, Katina. But all the other details is where they are correct. I was in Spectre, you know, police, 93 to 99. Yes. All we see is what you people and the media have projected to us. Okay. Uh, very quickly, okay, okay, you are in Katsina State. Tell us uh, about the security uh, situation as we speak. Are men who were uh, moving towards that particular state uh, just about now arriving in Katsina did say there are a couple of checkpoints leading up to Katsina and even in Kano where we find uh, some army and policemen as well as NDLU officials uh, keeping watch on the road. Uh, tell us what you uh, know about that. Well, this has been on for many for, for many months now, in, if not the, uh, the security, the insurgency started from uh, northeast and from uh, uh, unexpected banks where yeah, and yeah, the military and the police have been on the road. And later on, we found MDLE and others may be supporting them. This okay. is on. Yesterday, I traveled to Kaduna and Kano and came back, and uh, the security checks are there. People are calm and then about their local businesses. Yes. And Kaduna in particular, I tell you, much more peaceful because uh, uh, there have not been many acts of lawlessness uh, 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 in the state. So are you satisfied then with the deployment of security agencies so far for this election? Well, I don't know yet because uh, I know because I happen to be a security officer before. Mm -hmm. uh, I have had some, some officers that have been moving about from one end to the other uh, for security for, for, for election meetings. And uh, if that is what you are referring to, whether I'm satisfied or not, I will tell you this is a routine exercise. Mm. Every time we're having an election, we change the command structure, move the commissioner from one area to the other, move the senior officer from one area to the other, and even the rank and file are moved from one area to the other. This is routine. Okay, now you, you do know that there was a robbery yesterday in or a town in Ondo State uh, where it was said that at least five people were killed. Four banks were estimated to have been robbed. One of them burnt down completely. What do we make of that situation considering the amount of security personnel that are currently out of their, uh, let's say, barracks, as it were now? Well, it's unfortunate that uh, while we are just getting ready for the election, we had instances of uh, arm robberies there and there. Uh, uh, I hope if they are minimalist, minimally occurring, but not uh, at least and less. So if it is uh, a general thing, then we will say that it's state of insecurity. But if it is only uh, one incident here and there, uh, one can tolerate it. There are criminals who can seize an opportunity to do their own thing, especially now when any select security will be seen to be disrupting the election process, then the people will be uh, not happy about it. Well, I'm Brian. Let me ask you this question. We're having a very nice discussion here, at Disco, if you call it so. But I am concerned, even as this program is going on, that there are people in Kaduna, there are people in Kano. 
There are people in Lagos moving out of these states in mass. Is this a source of concern for you? It is very much a concern for me. In fact, yesterday I have issued instructions to my headquarters. You know, I'm the chairman of the Iowa Secretary Forum, ACF. I said we should warn all Nigerians to remain where they are, uh, they remain peaceful mm -hmm. and, and exercise their civic responsibility. And uh, uh, I'm sure the government is all out to ensure that uh, everybody is protected and is allowed to exercise this function. So there is no need for people moving from one end of the country to the other. Do you think that this has anything to do with the Easter holidays also approaching? Well, Easter holidays uh, is coming, that is correct. It's unfortunate, but then the election is also just on the corner. On the tomorrow, people will be passing their votes. Whether the two are related is a different thing. But it's unfortunate. This movement should not be seen to be because there is a uh, 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 allow me to come in here. Uh, if you've chosen to call this an unfortunate uh, situation, uh, how best can you relieve your experience, learn for a while that you have conducted an election that saw this particular democracy? You were the Inspector General of Police in the 90, for the 1999 uh, well, enthronement of democracy. Yeah, yes, sir. Tell us what it was then like when the election held on the agenda of the Salami Abu Bakr and uh, you as the uh, big boss man of the police at that time? Well, first of all, you know that uh, many people who are tired of military regime and uh, hopefully, unfortunately, the then head of state and the government decided to hand over immediately. It took him only one year in the office to arrange for a election. So everybody is on deck to ensure that the elections were held peacefully, transparently, and credibly. And therefore, everybody uh, played this part. Uh, security agencies were very alert, and uh, the government, which was military, non-partisan, uh, had warned and advised people to keep the peace and cast the vote, and, and they remain for the result. So the situations are different. Mm. Now it's a vision for one government, civilian government, elected government to honor elect them. And we know the heat that has been uh, uh, inspired or uh, generated during the period. So the, the security has to be very heightened. The threat to security has to be very heightened. And uh, we hope the security agents will be able to control the situation. Well, one controversial point of the elections continue to be uh, whether or not citizens are allowed to stay after they've cast their ballot, uh, or whether they should go home. Only recently, uh, during this week, the Inspector General was quoted as having said that he advises the electorate to go home after casting their ballot. What do you make of this order? Well, uh, it's not an order as such. You yourself said that you advise the citizens to go back home after casting the vote. Uh, I think you can advise. But you know some people are saying that there are going to be uh, uh, religion or uh, some dishonest activities during the election. And you know one particular party has been saying that you should cast your vote uh, protect your vote and whatever the terminology they are being using. Uh, mm. The people want to make sure that their votes are counted. Yes. And if they don't cause a, a situation of law and order, there is no, nothing wrong with it. But if it is likely that they will cause a situation of law and order, again, the security agencies are there. Well, some people say know. that what they are really afraid of is that even though there was an advice to the electorate, there could be conflicting orders in terms of what is handed down the rank and file to the police. Because if they tell the policemen or the IG tells his men, well, people are expected to go home after they voted, don't you think that we could have a cause for friction at the polling units? Yes, certainly, because uh, maybe some people will 
also had the police to, to drive away those who decided to remain behind and make a vehicle a cause of complaint. We have to be very careful about such situations. What would we advise under the circumstances then? <laughs> well, uh, my advice has been the same. Go out and vote if you have your PDC and uh, behave yourself. And uh, for the politicians, don't use uh, 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 school children or younger people to go and cause, give them more money, give them drugs, to go and cause havoc or uh, protect whatever they wanted to do. It. Allow everybody to exercise the civic responsibilities and then let the results be collated and calculated and let the correct results be announced, this will take care of a lot of problems. If people think they have won the election, and then it is twisted and another party is given that uh, election, that will cause a lot of trouble. No matter where people are, and uh, we hope, we pray that this thing will not happen. Well, we'd like to thank you so very much, uh, Ibrahim Kumasa, speaking uh, to us uh, live from Katsina by phone. He is uh, the former Inspector General of Police. Uh, they saw Nigeria's uh, uh, democracy that we have uh, 16 of yes now. Uh, we'd like to thank you so much, but uh, don't forget that we'll get back to you pretty much uh, in the course of the program to give us uh, more updates uh, in where you are at the moment. Uh, here on Nigeria 2015, we'll take a moment and we'll return shortly, but don't forget that our uh, social media platforms are available for you to air your views on the program. You can tweet us at us using the hashtag Nigeria2015. And uh, also use the Twitter handle. You see that on your screen. That's at Channels TV. Uh, if you have comments or questions uh, of, of more than 140 characters, uh, then you can leave the Twitter and move on to the email Nigeria2015 at Channels TV. Dot com. Uh, you know, we need to know uh, how you feel about this particular election because it is important to you and uh, you have to make your voice heard and tell us what's happening around you, especially on the election day. In fact, uh, it has already started, so we'd like to keep having them uh, now. You can send us pictures through our eyewitness platform and uh, here's how you do all of that. If you have uh, any of your mobile device, you go to the market or the app uh, to download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones. Tap to show the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions. Of course, all our top stories can also be found on our website. Uh, that is channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels web. And uh, well, you can see that on your screen, uh, it tells you how easy it can get and how easy you can actually be on uh, the program. We'll take a moment now and we'll return shortly. <laughs> 